Hey, what's going on guys? JD here and today I have another final cut tutorial for you. Today we are going to add some rotation and implement the dolly effect or vertigo effect in some drone footage that I have. Thanks to Mitch, my good friend who has the YouTube channel Mitch on Two Wheels. He gave me the footage from some of his past videos to edit up to see what we could do with it. So we're gonna bump up the edit just a little bit. Uh, you can check out his channel. We will have a link for that at the end of the video. I encourage you to head on over there. He has some fantastic riding and some of the most spectacular scenery to be seen in this area. So we're just gonna jump right into it. So this was the original footage from the video and we're gonna kick it up a notch with this vertigo effect. So we're gonna head over to the transformation panel. We're going to set a keyframe at the beginning of the footage at zero. And then we're going to set one at the end and we're gonna change that rotation to about 10%. You notice that the video now, as it turns, there are black spaces. So we're gonna to have to fix that. And what we're gonna do is go to the end of the video again and we're going to turn the scale until the footage completely fills the frame. And that's why it's better to do this with 4K video. So as you can see, as it rotates, there is no blank spaces. So now we're gonna jump back to the beginning of the footage. And what we're going to do is we're going to utilize Ken Burns. We're gonna hit switch. So our start and end point ends and we're gonna select the frame and just move that up slightly just so the camera moves a little bit. And this is what's gonna give us our vertigo effect. So as we scroll through here now, you can see the mountain looks like it is actually pulling away, which is exactly what we want. So that's how you edit the video to get the vertigo effect, as well as get a little bit of rotation in there. I think it bumps up the video a little bit. Of course, naturally, if you shoot in 4K, you will have a lot more flexibility and you will be able to utilize that Ken's burn effect much, much better than just standard 1080p video. But again, it adds some cool cinematic motion into your videos rather than just a straight flying drone. Uh, it works really well when there is something, as you see in the foreground that you pass over and you can do that with regular footage as well. So thanks again for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And if there's any tutorials you'd like to see in the future, please let us know in the comments below. Till next time, see ya.